Here is a second theorem that can be developed from the axioms and it is stated as follows. If A1 and A2 are two events that are subsets of the sample space S such that A1 is a subset of A2 then the probability of A1 occurring is less than or equal to the probability of A2 occurring. This proof is going to rely on the axioms just as before and this time a Venn diagram will also prove to be helpful. So here is the sample space S and since we know that A1 is a subset of A2 that means A2 is the larger event so I'm going to draw kind of a big event A2 and then I will have within that a smaller event A1. So here is the proof A1 and let's shade that this way in red and A1 prime intersect A2. Need to think about what that one is a little bit. I'm going to go to blue here. That, it's not there. Hold on, let's get rid of that. That is this area right here. It's a donut shaped region. And that is not in A1 intersect A2. And you can see that's this region right here. Well, those two, the red shaded area and the blue shaded area, form a partition of A2. And another way of saying that is A2 is A1, the red region, union, the blue region. And furthermore, the intersection of the red and the blue region is the null set. So you can see partition here is coming up again in this particular proof. Now, from axiom two, because the red and the blue are disjoint events, the probability of A1 plus the probability of A1 prime intersect A2 has got to be equal to the probability of A2. So there we're using axiom two to get that result. Furthermore, from axiom one, we know the probability of any event is greater than or equal to zero. So here is one such event which is the blue region has got to be greater than or equal to zero. Well, if this right here is greater than or equal to zero, then we know P of A1 must be less than or equal to P of A2, and that proves the result.